Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we're finding the radius and the coordinates of a centre of a circle with equation 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 5x minus 8y plus 10 is 0. So in order to do this, we need to write the equation in this form. So once we've done this, we'll be able to see that the centre of a circle has got coordinates a, b, and that the radius is r. So we can see that we don't want to have any numbers multiplying the x squared and y squared, so the first thing to do is to divide through by 2. So that will give us x squared plus y squared plus, and here we will need to have the 5, so we'll leave that as 5 over 2, so 5 over 2x, and then 4y, minus 4y plus 5 is 0. OK, so that's the first stage. Then looking at what we want to do, well, we're going to need to complete the square because we don't want to have any terms in x or y. We only want to have the x plus or minus something squared and similarly, similarly for the y. So what we're going to do is write down x squared and put next to it the 5 over 2x because those have got to be combined. And then we'll write down the terms in y, so y squared minus 4y. And we don't want to have any numbers that don't involve x's or y's on the left hand side. So let's take the 5 away from both sides to make a start on that. And then we'll complete the square twice. So that means we're going to have something or other squared for the x term. So let's start from all of the x terms. So we start off with the, the x there. And then all we need to do to complete the square is to halve the coefficient of the x term. So 5 over 2, if we divide that by 2, we'll get 5 over 4. But because we've done that, that's going to add in 5 over 4 all squared. So we need to take that away. So minus 5 over 4 all squared will give us what we want there. So that's equivalent to x squared plus 5x over 2. You could multiply that out and check it out if you want to. And now we need to do the same sort of thing with the y squared minus 4y. So we're going to have something or other, all squared, minus something or other. So we're going to have y, and then halving negative 4 will give us minus 2 in there. And when we square that out, we'll find that we've added on an extra 2 squared, so we've got to take away the 2 squared. And then that will give us, as before, minus 5. So we're nearly there. Let's just write down the brackets on the left hand side. So x plus 5 over 4 squared plus y minus 2 squared. So we're looking really good there. The left hand side is just what we want. So we could actually write down the coordinates of the centre already. We just need to do a bit of work on the right hand side to work out what the radius is going to be. So we'll start off with our negative 5. Let's add on the um, 2 squared which is 4, so that's plus 4. And then we're going to add on 5 over 4 all squared. So squaring the 5 gives us 25, squaring 4, 16. And if we work out what that is, negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1, which is minus 16 16 so take 16 away from 25 and that gives us 9 over 16 and luckily both of those are square numbers so we've got three quarters all squared so now it's uh, just a matter of writing down what the center is be careful that you get the right signs here notice that in the formula for the equation of the circle, we've got x minus a all squared, which means that when we write down the x coordinate, we want to write down minus 5 over 4. And when we write down the y coordinate, instead of minus 2, it's plus 2. So the opposite signs to the ones that you've got 
in the working there. And then our radius is simply going to be square root of r squared, which is just 3 quarters. So centre is minus 5 over 4, 2, and the radius 3 quarters.